Hello guys, this is Royal 69501 and welcome to my channel. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts for Rebirth, the new thing of the new 52, or in this case, DC Comics. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts about the book and some backstory that it, that it would lead us to Rebirth. So basically, the whole comic book is about Wally West. That's it. It's about Flash, the original Flash. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. All the story goes through uh, all the uh, all the writing goes through him or Jeff Jones. At least that's what appears to. Me. Now I have to say that that the work, the artwork is eye candy look at that look at that so he so the thing is that seems like one of ways he was stuck in the speed force one of those pockets after flashpoint you see that's the thing this this whole thing in this case the new 52 was born after flashpoint that's it so, but what happened? When the New 52 was born, something was missing. I would say, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of things were missing. Fine, it's cool. The thing is that the New 52, the characters, they, they were all more greedy, more dark, more they're always kind of like in the bad mood that they don't like anybody <laughs> uh this line is it was completely different i can understand what the new 52 was trying to do for some reason it did not work it did work but not they were expecting to work during the new 52 we have a couple of uh major uh, crossover or event one of them was oh but before that remember when the new 52 started that they say that well this is the prime earth and everything that happened before the new 52 is gone do not exist that's it so this is we're going to start from scratch which was okay to some point. The thing is that I kind of give you my thoughts of this book without telling you the backstory of it because even though it's a self-contained con uh, story, well, it's not. It's not at all, believe me. In a way. So the thing is that we have a, uh, when the new 52 started, from, from scratch, everything that happened before is gone, is forgotten, don't worry about it, fine. And then we have, and then the DC fan, they had like 50-50, I would say like 60-40, that they were in favor of the new 52, that, and a lot of people did not like it. Different point of views, that's okay. The thing is that they decide to acknowledge all the things that was before the new 52. So we had Earth 2. We had Earth 2, which is which that was recognized as well. We have now the Earth 2 is part of the universe in a way. So it's not only because the new 52 was it was beginning to feel like it was a self-contained between a handful of characters. When the, this universe is vast, is humongous. So, after Earth 2, we had Forever Evil. Forever Evil is the story that recognized Earth 3. All the bad guys from Earth 3 came to the New 52. And that's what this story is all about. Earth 3. So now we have Earth 2 and Earth 3 that's been recognized on the New 52. Which, if we come to this. After that, uh, 
we had before watching. Okay. According to the story here, the watchman, which I was wondering what what that hand there belongs to, well, happens to belong to the watchman. So according to the story on Watchman, before Watchman, Dr. Manhattan, when you finish reading this story, it doesn't have a direct connection to River at all. It's just the way that the story ended, because it ended, it had, it had an open end, which, which anybody can take this character and take any direction that it would like. In this case, it's one of the antagonists of River, which they said that he's the main antagonist, but I believe he's not the main antagonist because they're not gonna make a classic character as Dr. Manhattan, whether it's good or bad, to make him as the main bad guy. I would say that he's more a victim of her circumstances. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. Just yes, I'm hoping for for the best. Okay. After before watching, we have convergence. Now here in convergence, uh, there's uh, they acknowledge the multiverse, as we can see here. Let me see. Let me see if I, I can find the page. Right here. They acknowledge the multiverse. The thing is that Brainiac asked some of the superheroes to go back in time to stop the first crisis. So the thing is that where Supergirl actually die and flash and all that that's why we have flash on reaper that's why we're gonna have supergirl on reaper i mean it's beginning to make sense at least to me so here superman with his wife which happens to be louis lane and his son go back in time with flash and wonder woman and who else Batman, there was another guy. Hmm. Oh, and Parallax, Green Lantern, Hard Jordan, Parallax. They go to a stop crisis, and they did it. So according to this story, uh, the timeline have been restored. That's why we had the, the miniseries Multiverse, which also is recognizing the multiverse on the New 52. Now, you have to, to understand that the New 52, because to me, every time that there's a crisis and they kind of like reboot it or relaunch, it's a new Earth. Right now, we are on Earth New 52. We have crisis, pre-crisis, 90s, and all that. Okay. I need my coffee. I know. So according to this story, it has been restored. So they've been working, I believe that they've been working on this for a long time since Convergence. I believe so. Although when I read Convergence, I can only see that there was only one consequence, which is was the creation of Earth of the new Earth 2, the new planet, which it was which it was attached to uh, Telos. So that was the main result of convergence, even though that they're mentioning the multiverse. See where I'm going? So I believe that they've been working on this for a long time since convergence. Now we go to Reaper. Okay. Like I said before, everything goes around the original Flash, Wally West. That's it. The, the Flash that died on the first crisis. So he'd be stuck on the speed force. He's trying to get back and all that. 
Now, while you are reading this book, you will see that the Superman died. Let me see if I can find it here. We see that uh, Superman died on issue number 52. Let me see if I can get it. I'll be right back. Uh, Okay, in the storyline of the final days of Superman, this is where the Superman of the New 52 actually dies. He's dead. That's it. But you will see a new Superman here. He was okay with a beard, which happens to be this guy here. So for you to understand where this Superman this new Superman of River, you have to read Lewis and Clark. Why? Well, because this is the Superman from the 90s, where Superman actually dies, and he married Lewis Lane. Although back in the 90s, they didn't have no kids. So many years have passed. Now on uh, River, they have a, what, a 10-year-old kid, or eight, eight or 10, maybe, I don't know, which happened to be this little kid happens to be Superman and Louis Lane's son, which have Kryptonian and half human. Right now, his powers are being developing on baby steps, really slowly. So, once you agree this, you will understand where this Superman comes from. You see, on the beginning of the New 52, on Justice League, issue number one, when actually all the characters meet up for the first time and they start fighting, Dark side, well, this Superman was always on the New 52 because he came to the New 52 Earth after convergence, believe it or not. See the connection, what I'm talking about? So he, he was watching from the distance the whole fight, all the Justice League against Dark Side. He was watching from, from the distance. And he didn't do nothing about it well because he said he saw he saw the Justice League and he also saw the New 52 Superman. He went, he went like, well, they have their own Superman, their own Justice League, so they don't need me. So I'm going home. Although he's been doing his superhero stuff without anybody knowing it. Uh -huh. Except for a few, few people that they are after them, which happens to be Intergang, knows where these Superman are from. Believe it or not. Okay. Also, on this book, you're going to see kind of like uh, Titans. It's not the new Teen Titans. But for that, you have to read Titan Hunt, issue 1 to, one to 8. Here established the creation of the Titans. The thing is here, their mind have been erased, which more or less happens here. That's why they say that Mr. Man Dr. Manhattan is the one who erased 10 years from everybody. Memories, joy, sad, happy, crying, you name it. So this is the new Titans. We're, which we're going to have a Titans issue number one, River, but it's after this one. So once, if you are decide to read Titans, read this one first. Okay. So after those 10 years of being erased, we get to go kind of like through the memory lane. In the sense that we get to see the original Blue Beetle, uh, the original Flash, we get to see the Pandora, she dies, she gets killed. We get to see that uh, someone else also gets, uh, gets killed. Uh, 
besides Pandora, someone else it gets killed. So this is the part where Superman dies. This splash page. Now for you to, to understand why he died, you have to read Final Days. Now you really do not need to uh, read this to understand what's going on here. They mentioned the death of Superman. So if you are curious, if you are curious how he died, when, why, then read this story. Okay. Also, this issue there's a main guy, mystery guy, uh, that he introduced himself to Superman. Let me see if I can find. Him. I know. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. This is the guy. This guy here. His name is Dr. Oz or Mr. Oz. Who are you? I'm not supposed to just call me Mr. Oz. O-Z. I believe who is this guy. So once I got to this part, I knew I heard that name before. Or I saw that character before. I was like, I know I've seen this guy before. And I remember that I saw it on Superman issue number 32, which is Jeff Jones and Joko Minta Jr. story on, which I believe is like six or seven, where is the name of the story on is the man of tomorrow. So here we get to see Mr. Oz. Let me show you. So actually here, there is. That's the first appearance of Dr. Oz on Superman issue number 32. So, the death of Superman has been planned already since the beginning on issue number 32. Through all his major, major experience that he went through, well, eventually, well, what can I say? He died. So, Mr. Oz has been on the universe since issue number 32. This is his first appearance. Not only that, like I said before, we go through a memory lane and all that. We get to see the, the, the two flash meeting for the for here he gets pulls out. I mean, I have to say that the art is just eye candy. I love the art. I like the, the twist of it. That is that is a. Uh, that we have Mr. Manhattan or the Watchmen universe on the main universe. I like that. You know, because that will open a lot of doors to uh, create new stories. Why not? Look at this. Look at that. I mean, this book was just amazing. So not only that, here is the first time in. Look at that. The thing is that this book also it tells you what was missing of the new 52. In a way or in an indirect way, is telling us as reader what was wrong with the new 52. What was missing. So that's what it is. So it's a, I mean, I have to say that this is an excellent book great story and i'm looking forward i'm happy with this new direction maybe now one thing i noticed is that that the new 52 is still here the only thing is that they come up with the idea to erase 10 years which that's the twist of this of this whole story which i can i can live with that why not it's different let's go if I like it, continue reading. If I don't well, then I drop it like a rock. Other than that, uh, we had to see Pandora. She she already died. So the original Flash, he went searching for his girlfriend, but she doesn't recognize him, Wally. So now we're going to have two Wallys on the on the universe. One of them is going to be part of the, of the Teen Titans or Titan Hunt, and the other one is going to be part of the Justice League, I believe so. Uh, let's see what else. So here we get to go to uh, to. They also acknowledge 
one specific thing that happened on on Flashpoint when Flash goes, when he changed timeline, that when he saw uh, Bruce Wayne as Batman, he uh, that he he wrote a letter and give it to Flash so that way he can give it to his son in another timeline. Well, they acknowledge that here. Let me see that uh, why there. They acknowledge that what happened on Flashpoint. So we say that this is connect, directly connected with the Flashpoint. And also, which I don't know how that happened, there is the pain of the watch. Now, how that pain got there, maybe it was put there the same way as happened with the joke, remember? With the killing joke? Uh, death of a family where Batman where everybody thought that the, the Joker went into into the bad cave and left that car there and this and that well who knows so and also after this part here we see black page and then we go to the epilogue we shall like the epilogue some people did not understand it but the epilogue actually is a self-explanatory because right here on this page, you see that watch? Well, look, you see that that, that ring there has missing some teeth from the from the clock, and then eventually, you see it, kind of like it, it has some blood stain, and he and he has been recreated. So the timeline has been reestablished. It's coming back in time. So it's more like a metaphor than storytelling, but with a direct connection with Watchmen, which that's what I like. And then we end up here. So this is my thought about this book. I mean, I cannot, I was thinking to do like a regular video like I do, but I knew that I cannot give my thoughts without giving you a backstory because this book has a, a lot of information in it that is a friendly read. Well, no, and just well, depend. That is a good point for start to read the universe. Yes, some of you may not understand. That's why I make this video, trying to make it more simple, even though that took me almost half an hour. But uh, overall, I would give this book 5 out of 5 because it's excellent. I love it. Really, really good. And also, forgot to mention, Justice League War. Not Justice League War. Dark Side War. He also mentioned here about Dark Side War. Well, Dark Side War is connected in a way that in Dark Side War basically is the renaissance of the new of the new Dark Side. That is connected directly with DC River. I don't see it. Yeah, maybe a little bit. But it's not that much. Also, we get to see here the uh, Justice League, not the uh, Justice League, the Green Lantern Corps, which they were lost. Well, they came back. How they came back? Well, for that you have to read Green Lantern Lost Army six issue miniseries, and then after that, Green Lantern Core Age of Oblivion to understand how they they came back to the main universe because they, they were lost. Actually, Telos is the one who died because this happened after convergence, if I'm not mistaken. So, even though it's a one single comic book, it's a little bit complicated. So, that's why I did this video. For some of you that, that are not reading Green Lantern, and not reading Superman, and so on and so forth. So, try to easy up on the reading. I don't know. So, that's it guys. I give it 5 out of 5. Well guys, this is it. I hope that you like this video. See you later. Bye.